Welcome to Rachel Scale Modeling. My next build is this Trumpeters USS Nimitz CVN 60 Scale 1700. Now this is a carry on from my last build which was the USS N uh, WD by Eisenhower CVN 69. Um, I'm not doing a full video for this uh, build so um, all I'm going to show you is the parts that I didn't include um, in the um, Eisenhower because it's exactly the same kit apart from the clear decks. I'll be doing a solid deck here. I've also moved my camera a little bit to try and get in a little bit closer. Um, some of the images are not brilliant but I think you're going to get a better view. So it's something I'm trying to play with until I can sort out a new camera. So anyway, let's get in with the build. So the base coat is 57 grey Ar Revel Aquacolor and uh, this is uh, getting put on rather um, haphazardly because I, I, I don't want an even finish on this. Next is Revel Aquacolor 75 Stone Grey. Now um, I, I'm placing very very thin coats on this again making it a little bit uneven and what I'm doing is building up a deck colour um, you, you don't want it solid, uh, a solid colour you, you want different layers of colour to simulate dirt wear and tear next is 77 dust grey now I'm just putting a tiny amount on my brush and then um, wiping any excess off on a piece of kitchen towel then streaking this off this is going to uh, act as a rubber marks as the planes are moving around on the deck so just streaking on very lightly increasing where I think is necessary but I'm going to be doing this in no particular order just all over the deck but I'm going to pay attention to where I think the um, aircraft would touch down or speed off because um, it's a water line and just putting on the bottom plate here and uh, the edges are painted in Rebel Aquacolor 08 matte black and that's uh, for the water line. For the deck, as you can see it's already on. The um, instructions say put on the deck after you put on these uh, platforms. But because I want them to be 100% um, level with the deck, I put the deck on first. You may have to trim up the platform, the, um, the little points that go into the runners if you're having a movable deck they, they'll have to come off for it to fit um, but that's a simple case of just uh, cutting them off with your side cutter or a knife so jumping ahead I'm going to be uh, building the mass here as you can see they're very very small parts um, this is the, the camera the image is not really that sharp but at least you can actually see what I'm doing now so I'm just uh, starting to build it all up there are numerous parts uh, you have to build for the mass. Um, it is um, quite a long, laborious process to do. As, as you can see, I've got my tweezers out handling every single part. I'm using some locking tweezers as well uh, as a clamp just to hold them together. That, that's also a good idea if you're going to do these. Look at your instructions and see what parts need to be subassembled first before they get attached to the mass. So this is one of the radar systems I'm just um, attaching. Also, be very careful about taking them off the sprue. They are very thin and they can easily snap off. And once I've done a couple of uh, subassembled sections, uh, I'm just uh, attaching it to the mast. Again, quite a tricky process. These cross sections are a little bit um, difficult and tricky to do. The location points for these are clearly marked out, but you may wish to um, use your pin drive just to uh, drill them in so it's easier to get these columns uh, placed in without um, having to hold them and letting them set. So you, you're making the seat a little bit deeper just for the unit to fit into it. So I'm just building up as I go along here, each uh, little part at a time. Just be patient with it, it will all come together. These cross beams or wishbones, um, I would advise putting them onto the main uh, column of the mast first uh, before you add on the next section and, and let, let it dry. But it's essential you get it level. 
then once it's dry you can place the crop the next section on top you, you can let it the wishbone to have a little bit of movement just just to uh, maneuver it into place if you wish if you feel comfortable doing it that way and wait in this until this one is thoroughly dry before you place the next section on top now the aerials and uh, some of the pylons are four inch parts so I'm just cutting these out these get uh, locked into uh, a little housing um, I'm using uh, a bit of super glue just to attach them depending um, on what you prefer you can use PVA glue as well I, I just prefer using uh, super glue because it, it bonds quicker so the, the masks are mainly done so I'm moving on to the island so the uh, the base of the island is getting uh, made up first and once the base and top is placed on it's just a matter of building up the side walls there is numerous uh, parts go onto the island uh, particularly very small parts again be careful where you put them the location points are not all that visible uh, for, for you to know where to put them I had the advantage of obviously because I had already just completed one of these kits and then it was time to put on the top components the, these are fairly easy to put on the arrows and that were all straightforward and I'm moving on to making the um, the little vehicles uh, for the deck the, there's um, a couple of them to make up and um, they're all uh, the basic uh, same assembly so you have the main body two side units and two end units will go on before the top goes on Th this one is a crane that I'm making up the instructions are not clear, all that clear, um, how to make these up as well. So you, you may have to spend a little bit of, of time and attention on doing this. As you can see, they are very fiddly to do. And once the island's dry, it's time to put on the uh, last of the radar systems. So the location point just sits right on the top. And then the mast goes in, sitting on top of the island. I'm using this bead wire for the um, cables that run along the catch cables and um, I'm building them slightly different than I did on the clear deck so the decks attached and I'm just placing them in with a little bit of super glue and then going over them so it's back to the um, vehicles and I'm painting these in rebel up color 12 yellow and that's going to be for all the vehicles and now one end of the wires is dry uh, I'm just uh, going to be bending over the wire and uh, placing it in the uh, opposite hole or re recess um, it's easy enough to do with this stiff wire but uh, if you're using the brass wire that comes with the kit you may find it a little bit difficult to do it that way it's time to make up the um, uh, little aircraft now now I suggest doing this on the spray because it's just easier to handle the tiny little planes uh, and building them up while on the, on the sprue. What I did was I, I just built them up in sections, wait until they dried and then uh, built up another section. I'm using Homegirl's clear matte varnish uh, for the deck. Now you, you don't want the deck to be all shiny uh, with a gloss or satin finish so it's uh, best to put on uh, a matte varnish once all your decals are on of course. So while the varnish is dried and concentrating on the base, this is the box the kit came in. So I'm just cutting off the um, edges of the box first of all. And then I'm taking some acrylic black and blue paint and just put splotches along before painting uh, the, the bottom. Now the reason for this is when you put on the um, supplied water, you, you want it to show that it's got some depth in it and the black creates an illusion of depth it doesn't really matter how you paint this um, just darken it a few light colours will help then it was back to the actual kit and it was time to put on the uh, little aircraft so just a little bit of super glue um, at the bottom to place them on and like the other one I'm just putting them on here how I feel they, they should go on there's no direct pattern how they all go on for me anyway so back to the base um, just a, a little bit of glue added to the edges 
and then it's time to place on the water line. And once the water line's on, it's uh, time to put the actual kit uh, inside the recess there, and this will actually complete the model. Well, considering this was my second uh, build of a, a car here from the, the um, same manufacturer, I still had a, a good time building this. Didn't take me as long as the other one, obviously, because I, I was just fresh off the first one. It's a really good kit to build, and I did enjoy uh, the aspect I put in a waterline mod, as you can see there. If you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the Eisenhower build to see it all go together from start to finish, or indeed check out all my other videos. I'm sure there's something there for everyone. Subscribe to the channel, that would be nice, and uh, throw me a like if you enjoyed what you've seen here today. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.